What's up, guys? Walks here. <laughs> All right. They're gonna be asking like, what the hell am I filming? Don't ask. Don't ask. More famous YouTubers. <laughs> I wish. Oh my god, where's the link? Oh my god, I have this phone. Where? Dude, the seats are like fancy. Dude, I know. Is that cannonball? Has to be. students and TSU is a really big school. That being said, I have so many friends and our classes are so small. Our classes are generally capped at a size of about 20, so it's a small classroom for such a big university. You definitely get that community feel and that small town feel, even though it's a big school. I love MTSU because of the atmosphere. I feel like it's a, it's a big school, but with that small school feel. We have a really big university here but it doesn't feel so big because of all the different resources and the people who are here to help you. And um, it just makes it a, a really great place to learn and to live for four years. I love MTSU because it's always felt like home to me. It always felt like everybody's a family around here. When I think of MTSU, I think of family just because it's always just felt like home. I love living in Murfreesboro. I came from a very small town and we didn't even have a coffee shop there. So moving to Murfreesboro, anything that you want to do is right here. And if you get bored, you can just go to Nashville. So it's super close and it's a very convenient place to live. What I love about MTSU is the fact that they really em emphasize inclusion of everyone, no matter your major, your discipline, your field of study, your ethnicity, it doesn't matter. You know, everyone is true blue. Everyone is a part of this community. And the great thing as well is, everyone wants to see you great here. They have so many great programs in so many different fields. Um, if you're looking into music, it's, it's so rich here. Um, the faculty is incredible and um, is willing to work one-on-one -on -one with you um, to help you do whatever you want. Um, and then the students here are really supportive too. Um, I found a really great community here, and I think that anyone looking for that uh, would find it here at MTSU. MTSU has really pushed me to do better than I ever knew that I could. Uh, one of the things that really sticks out is getting an internship with one of the top news stations in Nashville. And without MTSU and without the faculty that pushed me to do better, I wouldn't have even thought that I could have interned for such a huge station so early on. MTSU was the most affordable I could find. Uh, they actually made it more affordable since I started here, increasing the scholarships that are guaranteed to freshmen. So I'm kind of jealous about that, but it's very affordable as far as guarantee. I can get scholarships and tuition is relatively low. MTSU is home to 17 Division I athletic teams, and I can honestly say some of my best evenings have been spent cheering on the Blue Raiders with my friends. Uh, a lot of our teams are very successful. A lot of our athletes go on to play professional sports. 
sports. So no matter what sports you're interested in, from our championship winning teams to our some awesome club teams like ice hockey or rugby, there's always going to be a great opportunity for you to get loud, get rowdy, and cheer on the Blue Raiders with the Blue Zoo after a long day of classes. I love being to you one because they're allowing me to excel in my craft while also becoming the best person. Uh, the faculty, the student body, uh, the events, you know, the opportunity that each issue provides for students. You know, when you leave, you, know, you walk across the stage, you get to the point where you're going to look back and realize, hey, not only did I grow in my career, my profession, but I grew as a person. And so that alone, when you walk out those doors, they're going to take you further than what I believe any other college around me will. Apologize. Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing today? I don't think I will. I'm just going to say that. No, I'm not going to have one. Because you said that. you a little bit about me so now I want a little bit to know a little bit about you so if you don't mind telling me your name where you're from from and what you're uh -oh. thinking about studying I'm Cheyenne Farrell I'm from Springfield Tennessee and I'm going to transfer from Columbia State studying just oh how exciting this is a great program here uh I'm Katie I'm from Maryville and I want to go into video and film production there you go my type of gal right here I'm David I'm from Lebanon and I want to live on a nursing or music Okay, perfect. I'm Ryan Reem and I'm from Hillsborough and I'm going into live production. Okay. I'm Thomas, I'm from Tullahoma and I'm going into video production. Got myself a nice group. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and head on down to our recreation center for my video film production majors or interest majors. If you guys have any specific questions, I can answer those after the tour or along the tour. That's my major, I've been doing it for four years, so. <laughs> I think I know what I'm talking about at this point. I hope at least. I'm gonna ask if it's in the No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure though. What? I think I am, but I'm not sure. 16K? <laughs> they just one, came out with those. I know there is one 8K camera though. 8K 360. Dude, that's insane. And there's a 4K 180. That's nuts. Another doctor. We have the, all of them are um, registered nurse practitioners. 
practitioners, everything in between. We have a dietitian in there. Uh, do not worry, parents, these are not like our nursing students working in here. They're actually licensed. And then right behind me, NCOP, this stands for Middle Tennessee Outdoor Pursuits. So if you like anything like outdoorsy, so we usually say anything that is an ING except for hunting. We have fishing, kayaking, hiking, canoeing, rock climbing, literally pretty much everything you can imagine. Um, we have a group trip, and if you want to go on a solo trip with your friends, you can come in here and bring out that equipment. Um, one of the most popular trips they have is our ski trip. It's like $900 and they fly you out, take your house, and like everything is only $900. Not horrible at all. Um, so yeah, this is a, definitely a great resource we have here on campus. As we walk through Kansas State, you're going to realize MTSU is a relatively flat campus. So they have a lot of bikers, skateboarders, everything in between. That being said, we do have a fully functioning bike shop in here. So if you want to rent out a bicycle, you can come here and do that. Or if something happens to what you bring here, they'll be more than happy to look at it if something breaks on it. So if any questions about our health services or talk. Wonderful. We're going to head down a little bit further to see more of the rec center. I think I have tissue good debit card. Definitely won't be in there. So if you ever want to find me, I'm in there, not there. I don't know if they're in there. Down this hall, we do have our functional fitness room. So it's kind of like a CrossFit room, but they tell us what they call it that. It's more of an open space. And then we have our indoor pool and our outdoor pool. Our indoor pool does have a swirly side, so if you pass an exam and you want to celebrate, you know, always go down the swirly side. We have outdoor volleyball courts. Um, down here we have six uh, six basketball courts that can turn into six volleyball courts and then six racquetball court rooms. We have an indoor soccer arena. If you ever want to take a, like, a like, little bit of a private workout, that place is mainly empty. Nobody really goes in there unless it's rented out. Around the corner we have ping pong tables and we do offer fitness classes in here. Those are all free starting last fall. So it's really nice that we have that option. That ranges from like Pilates, yoga, Zumba, pretty much anything you can imagine. Do we have any questions about our rec center? Yes, ma'am. So if you come here. The good about turning on campus is that it's on a, especially on a weekend. Really not really good not have come on a more perfect day. It's so nice. Just let it be quiet. Yeah, it shake it so like, much. It did look like it was going to rain, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I thought it was going to rain for like this morning, but it looks I thought, like this morning. I'm like, I man, they really be pushing that visa card. Jesus. I, I looked at this morning and I was like, oh, we're going to go on that tour. It's going to be raining. We're going to bring an umbrella. <laughs> but no. Yes, promote. At least I'm promoting something while I'm here. Huh? What are you promoting? Right to repair. And what's the difference? Oh. Dang, I'm hungry. Mm. Oh, why are they so far behind? Dude. You're slow. Oh, dude, that's not how so, it smells so good at farmer's market. They're planning on ditching you here in a little bit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dang, it smells good. I'll be swimming a lot here, that's for sure. What was Definitely the coffee place in there? Uh, I don't remember. Is it Duncan? I, I don't know. There's Duncan in there. There's yeah. so much. There's, yeah, there's well, Duncan, there's steak and I should be able to lose weight pretty easy. You gotta be walking all the way over. Yeah. Dad said I should bring my bike. You can rent the bike. I know, but I actually have one. I don't. <laughs> well, mine's messed up. The gear thing broke on it, so like it's stuck permanently in a gear. And it's like, one of the high gears, so it's really hard to pedal. Yeah, like we're going to the student union. Whoa. Whoa. What, the student union building? That's like the most popular building. Yeah. 
Are you vlogging? Currently? Yes. <laughs> All right, we're first going to talk about this building across the street. This is our Paul W. Martin Senior Honors College. Little fun fact, Martin. NTSU had the first public, was the first public university to have an honors college on their campus. What's cooler than that? Um, so just some benefits about being an honors college. You do get priority registration, so if you really like avoiding those 8 a.m.s or you have a specific professor that you really <laughs> want to take, this is definitely the route to go. Priority registration is not accessible for everyone. You could even register before it's some seniors. Wow. All your classes are capped out about 15 to 20 students, and they're more discussion-based and lecture-based, so if you really like to talk in class like I do, then this is definitely the route for you to go. Now, you'll be like, Cindy, these are some great benefits. How do I get into Honors College? Well, I'm so glad you asked. So it's no separate application to your regular MTSU application. As long as you meet the requirements of a 25 on your ACT and a 3.5 high school GPA, you're automatically enrolled. Now, I know that's a little intimidating. Trust me, I am a horrible test taker. Could not make above a 24. That's totally fine. I came to MTSU. As long as you take 12 credit hours and get a 3.25 college GPA, you are automatically enrolled and um, those honors classes are accessible to you. Yes, ma'am. Does that include like if she's transferring from Columbia State? Yes, so it's for transfers too. So as long as you have that 3.25 and 12 credit hours, you can automatically be enrolled. Now we do like to say that you can date the Honors College without marrying it. That being said, you can reap all those benefits, you can take them, and if you're like me and they hand you th this nice thesis and they're like, you're going to have to write this now, you can break that with it and have it out the door. There is no commitment, they're not going to track you down, they're not going to sit there and beg you. You will have another academic advisor, you do lose that one, but you still have like your normal one. Uh, she might be like, oh, don't go. It's okay. There's no commitment whatsoever. But if you would like to marry the Honors College, you do have to write either a creative-based or research-based thesis. NTSU is very fortunate to be offering us that creative-based because it's a lot of fun. Like one of our aerospace majors flew to all 48 continental U.S. states and wrote about his adventures there. We had an early childhood development student to write a children's book about disabilities, and that was her project. Um, just more on the research phase, I, we just recently had a tour guide graduate. He wrote about hearing loss in concert venues because he was an audio production major. So it kind of just goes with wh whatever you're studying, whatever you're passionate about. We've had somebody, um, his creative-based project was making a peanut butter and jelly machine. <laughs> sure, but as long as you write your, amazing. write your thesis and defend it, you get to ring those beautiful bells at the top of that tower. If you, it rings on the hour mark and the 30 minute mark. So if you hear it ring at like 12.45, that means somebody did their thesis, the bells ring, and you can play the special song of your choice. And then you get this really cool stamp on That's your That's cool. Do you have any questions about our honors college? Anyone? I'll take it. All right, we're going to go ahead and hand out our student union. You do tours long enough where you figure out how long it takes for the buttons. <laughs> Oh, we've been in here already. Yeah. Can Helen be still open? Oh, yeah, it's lunchtime. You can tell everyone sitting there. Stoop. You're stoop. Dude, this hey, building is lunch? so gorgeous, though. Is steak and shake open? That's my question. Is steak and shake open? Is Coffee and I'm, more. Is it, that's what I'm getting. Mm. Hey, we should just eat here, guy. Yeah, let's, let's. Why don't we just eat here? <laughs> Nashville chicken. I know. There's so many people here. I know. I'm gonna go up and watch a free movie. Yeah. Might want to test that one out, guys. That's Boys great. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Yeah. Take notes. I don't watch movies though. Um, that's like a part. We also have a multitude of different different meeting rooms. We yeah, have a maybe. ballroom. We have a parliamentary room. It's basically a place for our student <clears throat> organization to be able to meet. On the third floor is where our student organization offices are. If I can tell you guys one thing, wherever you go, no matter what, get involved on campus. It definitely makes or breaks your experience here on campus. First semester, didn't do a single thing. I was like, I'm just going to get accustomed to campus first, get accustomed to college life. I hated college. The second semester, I got involved. I got jobs here on campus. I started in, in Greek life, and literally, it completely made a 360 um, in my college experience. We also like to preach like time on task. The more time you spend on campus, whether you're working out in the rep, eating on campus, studying the library, being involved in clubs, um, and in your like classes. 
which just sounds really surprising because you're like, well, I have less time to study because I have to go to a club, my club meeting, but you end up going to do better because you're excited to go to campus. We also have our June Anderson's Women's and Non-Traditional Student Center up there. Um, we have our Greek Life office up there, and we also have our... We should eat a steak and shake right now. Right now. Well, you didn't seem very impressed. I mean, it was good. I liked it. What? Oh, the autofocus isn't working. Oh, wah. Well, I guess. Cry me a river. 4K. 4K. 4K river. 4K river production. <laughs> 4K Junkies production. Get it right. It's so pretty, though. Huh? This is where we were. It looks so different without the tents. It does. It really does, doesn't it? It's like now it's just grass. Now it's just grass. I've heard that every time you knew these. Because legend has it that if you walk on it, it take you more than four years to get your degree. Where'd you hear that at? My mother told me. <laughs> These little, those? Those things, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just walk straight through it. <laughs> hey, look. I can, on Saturday, I can tell you where I ate lunch. That bitch right there. <laughs> It was that bench right there, and that place right there next to it. Oh, that notebook is still up there. Your what? That notebook. <laughs> Wait, I didn't leave a notebook. There was the one already there. See it on top? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's good. Go, go, go get right it. There. I ain't getting it. Why not? It's always on ones. Yeah, but they left it. No. They're so behind. Yeah, I like <laughs> Old people in there, right? <laughs> In Not really. How about that? My, my feet are already starting to hurt. <laughs> I gotta get that corrected. You're not in shape, are you? No, it's my feet. They're crooked. I have a messed up walking in ministry. Oh. Uh, it sense. takes special shoes to get it right. Dang, I should have wore the merch. What merch? The tissue merch. I see. I was smart. My leg is just So the next building we're going to talk about is we're right across the street. That is our academic classroom building. It is currently our newest building here on campus. Opened in the fall of 2020. Hey, look, Mom, social work. Beautiful, 39.6 million dollars to build. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They knew there were going to be blonde tour guides going around trying to explain the building, so they slapped the departments right on the side of the building just to help me out. So in here we have our Department of Criminal Justice, Criminal Justice Psychology, and Social Work. MTSU put these three majors in the same building because they realized that those three work together quite often in the real world. And this, but we do have our new concrete construction management building opening actually here in like two weeks. And that one's pretty impressive as well. I really wish we could take you inside that. You definitely have to come back and see it gorgeous building cannot rave about it enough. So just a little bit about what's going on in here in our criminal just criminal justice department. We do have a mock trial team and they're currently building a mock courtrooms and we're gonna bring in local juries and justices to come and teach those courses. We also have an emergency dispatch simulator where we have local emergency dispatchers come in and they teach those. So you're gonna, you're gonna so come back. A lot of hands on we'll experiences happening tears. in here. In our psychology department we have an electroencephalogram which is basically tracking brainwave and we're um, currently doing a study to see early signs of strokes. Just in your gen ed psychology class you do have you have to participate in grad right. research which is really cool because we get to help grad students and we have a really good grad program for psychology but it's either you participate in research or you can write this beautiful like mini thesis and let me tell you I'd rather answer how old I am, my favorite color, and all those like just generic questions about myself than sit over here and write a paper. Just saying, it's not as bad as you think. And so also we're kind of just picking backs off the other two. So they're there. They're a great department, of course. Uh, do you have any questions about our academic classroom building? All right, I'm also gonna take this opportunity to talk a little bit about housing, cause if there's not a bunch of trees, you usually can see a little bit more of our housing. 
So right over here we have Cummings Hall and its sister dorm is right on the other side of the business building that is Cora Loop. These are our two freshman only dorms. Just because I say freshman only doesn't mean freshmen can't live wherever they like here on campus as well as even off of campus. We do not require a freshman to live on campus but your parking pass is included in tuition so just saying. Um, if you oh, I told you. On campus, your first year, you automatically have to get a meal plan, but I promise you it's not as scary as you think. My parents get me a meal plan, and I'm a, almost a senior in college. It's just very useful. Uh, I do not feel good about the pay for that whatsoever. And plus, the meal plan you can use pretty much wherever you like here on campus, and even some off campus locations like Papa John's. And that's an experience. Um, so, this is a communal style dorm. Do not get scared by the word communal style. It is not like the movies, I swear. I used to go up in those bathrooms and you'd be really concerned about the freshman hygiene because there was never a single soul in there. <laughs> there wasn't any toothpaste in the sink. There wasn't any hair stuck on the shower walls. Like you're concerned these people are actually using that bathroom. It's clean, it, you get free toilet paper. You don't understand how it's nice it is to have free toilet paper until you don't have it. <laughs> I lived in my sorority house last year and now I don't and so let me tell you having to pay for gold paper now is become a hassle because I had to deal with free. So which one's ours? Do you have any questions over yeah, housing? Yeah. We do have showrooms open for you guys to get to see. You will have to contact housing and set those up since we don't have access. Why would we not have access? That's a great question. I would love to know that myself. Um, but we also have them like online tours as well. Any other questions? Oh, they do. Oh, the gym coming. You can hear all the talking about what to do, when to do it, how to do it. That's sick. He, he was huge. There was a lot of stuff. Was it hot? Not really, no. You would think all that equipment would make the room hot. You would think, but I think the guy, I think it's big condition, so. Dude, that's sick. And it goes all around the country. I'm gonna ask her when we get to that part, if it's okay. Of course you will. Yes, bro, come on, I gotta know. It's gotta be in that high res, bro. I'm sure it is in 4K. The standard now is like 8K now. Yeah movie standards and they do that so it looks good for a long time so you can watch it 10 years later and it'll look good until 10 years later we're at 24k <sighs> well they and just look like 240p they did black magic just came out with 16k and they just there's not even a 16k screen here's the thing our yet. eyes can't even look in 8k actually yeah you're right no our eyes look in 4k they can't see 8k you still notice a difference. Yeah. There's a football thing. See, but it does help with, like, pixel response times. I'm telling you, every Saturday night, I'm going to be spent in there. <laughs> what? Going to every game. Of course you will. Well, mainly because I'm probably going to be broadcasting. <laughs> yeah. You say old man. Where? Old man circle? Old, ma old man. Oh. Uh, I'm blind, bro. I was like, what? 30 p.m. kickoff. If you noticed, I'm blind. Next game. Friday night, no. Last lies. Alrighty, so that little road we just walked down, I waited until we walked, made y'all walk all the way up here to talk about it. So these first two buildings right here is our Saunders Fine Arts and Bright Music building. Put those together and you have the School of Music. And there we have a bunch of different practice rooms as well as we have a few, a few different um, departments in there. We have music, education, performance, and industry. Um, we also have our Band of Blue office in there. And then those last two buildings that we that were at like the beginning of our walk is our Bow Wow Dramatic Arts and Tucker Theater. Put those together and you have a shirt, MTSU apparel, you name it. I cannot tell you how many free shirts I have gotten from our baseball games and socks. And socks. Friend socks. All our athletic events are free to our students. If you have a friend or family that want to come, it's like $10 what the cost to get into a normal like high school football game, so nothing too bad at all than the like normal $20 you'd have to pay as a guest. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm trying to think. We're at Conference USA University with 17 Division I sports, and if you're like me and you're not a Division I athlete, which is totally fine, um, we can... We did have a few men here and there, but they're mainly out like doing men. 
Um, but after a while, we built them their own dorm because more of them came here. So they were located here in Jones Hall, which is no longer an active dorm. It is now just a bunch of different offices. It's also where our study abroad office is located. And our girls were over here in Rutledge Hall. This is actually its last year of being a um, active dorm. Uh, after this year, we are going to close it down and renovate it into offices. It is the oldest uh, dorm hall we have here on campus. It's also the only dorm hall that has sinks, and my mom is absolutely appalled the fact that dorm rooms don't have sinks. So she's really <laughs> sad that that one's closing. Is that where Reynolds is? Do you know where Reynolds is? Yes, it's down there. It's connected to another dorm, too. Oh, okay. So. It was a big no-no back in the day to have men and women go in each other's dorms. They even had a curfew back then. We don't have that anymore, do not worry. I know everybody starts the heart pounding curfew. No, we don't have that. So they couldn't go in each other's dorm. They had a curfew and they're like, well, we want to see each other. It's late at night. I want to go meet them. So they meet right in the middle on these steps. And so the legend goes that if you kiss your significant other on these steps, that you'll be together forever. Oh my God. Now is that promise happily ever after? I have somebody once say, well, me and my husband divorced and we kissed on, uh, we kissed on these steps. And I was like, don't you have a kid? Right. You're about to interact with them? Right. Just saying. Just saying. You got to be careful. Do not kiss your freshman boo on these steps. I tell my customers, students, I give them this whole lecture. I say, do not kiss your freshman boo on these steps. There are practice steps right at the James Union building. There are no commitment on those steps. At least find out they're a good kisser. Do not kiss on these steps. <laughs> I kissed my ex on these steps and he actually called me for the first time last night. So Oh no. Oh. Obviously I'm still stuck with him somehow, so I'm gonna assume the flight. <laughs> Bob Martin. <laughs> Bob Martin. Are you a liberal? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, we haven't been to you yet. No phones allowed podcast. Rockstar energy. What? Right here. Okay. <laughs> The gaming company? Energy drink. Is it the same? Oh yeah, it's not the same logo. It'd be cool if they made an energy drink though. Rockstar. Are you a liberal? You have the horse shirt. I'm sorry if they have the same I can get a higher quality photo if you want to. No phone go out. Oh, yeah. Dude, no. We should do that together though. We're yeah. working in the dorms or somewhere. What, the podcast? Yeah, see, everyone's just riding a bike. Yeah, we can actually start doing the podcast when we move it. This is such a pretty place to take photos. Yeah, walk. So welcome to Walnut Grove. Can anybody tell me why it's called Walnut Grove? Walnut trees. Look at y'all, you're going to get 4.0. <laughs> well, you may know that, but you may not know that walnut trees are not native to Tennessee. They're actually, this is the only tree type that we have on campus that are not native from back, from here. So, a little fun fact, back in 1917, one of our custodians went and borrowed uh, some walnut seeds from Mount Vernon. If you did not know, that was George Washington, Washington's home. Congratulations, you just lost that 4.0, and I'll show you where the history tutoring's at a little bit later. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so he came out here and he added them out here because he thought it'd be a lovely addition, and I would have to agree. During the fall semester, this is where we have tailgate at. So last Saturday, this place was filled with tents, free food. We have carnival rides over here. We had some kind of like foam axe throwing thing. It Why was fun. fun. I don't know. I was like, I didn't know they made these. I just knew like the real axe throwing things. Um, we also had our president's picnic over here. This is more of the family friendly side. They have free food, the carnival rides, the bouncy houses. And if you think you're way too cool to get on a bouncy house in college, let me tell you, I'm going to prove you wrong. Dancers and our football team come down our beautiful Raider Walk and we get to cheer them on as they head into Floyd Stadium. I also try to always snag up pictures with some of my football friends and I ask for a few of their autographs because I swear. It boosts their ego and they play so much better when you ask for their autograph. Mm -hmm. I, I'm putting money on it. I would even, I would do a whole study on how that works. Our uh, beautiful Raider Walk is made by our concrete construction management students as well as our beautiful blue horseshoe. If we cut this down the middle, can anybody guess what color it is on the inside? Pink. Anybody, anybody? Red. That's a great, I like her answer. Red. So it is actually blue through and through, just like me and hopefully you. Oh, I 
they make really bad dad jokes that a lot of people don't pick oh up on, so the ones God. that you pick up on, you really have to laugh at because <laughs> I'm not good at them. If a blue horseshoe is not lucky enough underneath it, I wish there was a glass box where you could see it, but there's a heads up 1911 penny because that was the year we were founded. So a lot of time during exam season, you have a lot of people come out here rubbing it, hugging it, whatever they can do to get any additional luck for their exams. It's also a great picture opportunity, so I'm going to get out of the way. You guys can come take a picture with it. We already if you done want this. to avoid the embarrassment, I'm going to talk about this building we just walked through, so nobody's going to be hey, watching you. Do not 19 work. days. So if y'all want to take this picture, you can go ahead. Yeah. 19 days. Only ni 19 days and it's in a memorial. So this building right behind me, this is Peck Halls, our College of Liberal Arts. So basically the home of all your gen eds, essentially. So we have our literature classes, we have our history classes, political science, just to name a few of those departments. We call this the freshman maze of the Bermuda Square just because, Riley, we're going to go ahead and no, move on then. Do. No, I mean like the whole group. Talk about the whole group. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got that 4K dash cam. <laughs> I don't think there are a lot of sexual assaults. Sexual assaults are pretty good. But, according to Hey, at least there was no, um, no bullets found podcast. Stop it, yeah. I kind of saw we can actually see the students walk around and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's just, it's just how do you do it. Altoids? Interesting. Altoids is the worst peppermint. Honestly, yeah. It's literally just straight fire. It's literally just like eating fire. Dude, this is so big. Yeah, it's not cold at all. This is a pretty spot. This is a pretty spot that I like, hang out. Stuff like that, you know, all the jazz. In my opinion, but there's still a lot of things that are student oriented in this building. So again, there are, we have our post office. If you live on campus, you automatically get a PO box. If you're like me and you live dollars a semester, let me tell you, it's the best fifteen dollars I ever spent. I think I missed one pack, so that's why I'll take one fifty. This is where our Department of uh, Chemistry and Biology, as well as Biochem, is located. Uh, again, we built this in 2014. Why I, why I like to stop so far away is because if you look through the window, you can and see that curvature. That is actually the body of a guitar in the strings or the bricks going down that way. It's just something you can't see if you're right up on top of it. Now, what I can't show you is the aerial view because it is shaped like a horseshoe. But if you ever look at a map of MTSU, you can see on that map that it's shaped like a horseshoe. I always like That's to say cool. this building's a little bit harder to navigate than our freshman maze because I cannot tell you where any of those hallways go and how many times I've gotten lost in there. Somewhere on the third floor, there is a stuffed tiger around the corner. It kind of moves every once in a while, so it can spook you out. In here, we also have a little bit of a legend as well. So we have floor to ceiling whiteboards, and I don't know how people reach the ceiling, but there's always some kind of handwriting at the top. I don't know if they bring their own ladder or something, but it's used, don't worry. But we have a little bit of a legend that if you write any equation on those whiteboards, whether it's mathematic, it's a chemical equation, anything, that when you come back the next day, it's going to be fully solved. And typically, if it's wrong, a professor will come through and mark it out and write the answer for you. Now, I have tested and proven that. What I want to test and prove is if I can write an equation on different whiteboards and do all my homework that way. If you figure that out, let me know. Do you have any questions over our science building? All right, perfect. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. See if they can answer that. <laughs> oh my god. Let's spread on the board, Mr. Gun, for the win. Mitochondria powers the house. Is this the same door you took? No. No, okay. Get a little tree. <laughs> no, I think I'm talking about science. Mitochondria powers the house. You said it wrong. It's mitochondria. No, mitochondria powerhouse. is the powerhouse of the cell. It powers the house. That's the only thing I remember from biology class. <laughs> we didn't even go down the path that I went down. I went down all the way to the other side. I went to the um, loser. The, the media inner thingy. I have to get this lens fixed. It's like I have to recalibrate it. What, what's wrong with it? So like it has a gyroscope in it. To keep it steady, and it's just—it's not able to tell what's How's level. That auto really good. You said it wasn't working. Let's recalibrate it. I unhooked it and hooked it back here, fixed it. 
okay. It's got that dual pixel autofocus, so it's like super fast. Right. You excited about college life? <laughs> you okay. Are you? No. No? <laughs> yes, actually. A little bit. Make up your mind. In the middle, okay? Think about it, you get the move out of your house. So randomly he sent me a Snapchat and was like, we were in a zombie apocalypse and got sent free. You look fast. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Snapchat. <laughs> you can walk through it. Spit. Walks right Cap. Cap. <laughs> I like it. I like that design. It's like a coliseum. This is the media entertainment building. This is the coliseum. So is this where we're going to be at? Yes, this is the one that we're going to be at. I know that entire group of guys at that tan, they were staring at me the entire time I was explaining that, and I was like, this is awkward. My eyes are not adjusting. So you were already in here before? Yeah, I've been in here. But I came through on that side. Ah. That's now hiring. Oh, <laughs> that. That's fine. All right, so this is our College of Media Entertainment. This is my hell away from home and what most of y'all are interested in. So this is where our departments of media arts, strategic media and journalism, as well as recording industry is located. So within those departments, we have video film production, audio production major, um, mass communication, as well as our journalism pass, so sports and media. And of course, we have commercial songwriting and everything that falls around that stuff. So the first thing I want to point out is our Center for Innovation and Media. This is probably the most hands-on portion of the building. We have WMOT, uh, which is our faculty ran radio station, mm -hmm. NPR affiliated. And we also have WNTS, which is our student ran radio station. So you can kind of have any kind of radio show you want in there. Whether it's a podcast, you think your Spotify playlist is better than everybody else's. Or if you just really want to go on there and rant about your ads, you can do that too. They do take on student interns in WMOT, which is a really great experience to get involved in. Um, we have Match Records in here, which is our student record label for our recording industry students. We have the Sidelines, which is more for our journalism majors. as our school newspaper. I always recommend people read it once a semester because it's all things MTSU and the best way to keep up with things happening here on campus. You do not have to be a part of the School of Journalism to write for the Sidelines. Anybody can report for that. We have a lot of sports media majors that report for the sports sections for that, of course. And finally, my favorite part in that center is our NT10, is our student television network. Uh, it's basically completely ran by students. We have an advisor off on the side, make sure we don't say or break anything that we're not supposed to. Uh, but it's basically students writing their own shows, producing their own shows. I actually produce a show tomorrow, so wish me luck. Um, so that's super exciting that we get the opportunity. This, is, this building is a lot of hands-on learning. We are going to go a little bit further down. They have an on-air on light. Yes. They have max. Mm. Disgusting. We just gonna have to get over it. I'm not gonna go over it. I will literally bring my own computer. What? I, I would literally just it. bring a towel. I'll carry a towel. Get an audio major and we'll do it for you. Um, I, my friend, you can walk those out in four hour periods. My friend always wanted to walk it out from 4 a.m. to 8 or 8 a.m. I don't know who he had coming into this building at 4 a.m., but he's never struggled getting an artist to come record. Do you have any questions? Are oh, the cameras in 4K? Yes. There you go. In 1080p. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head back to where we are starting. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me along the way, just come up and ask. And if you guys need any phone numbers, we'll cover all that. It's just Brandon. It's all Brandon. Go, Brandon. Starts playing Rick Ashley. Bing, doom, boom, boom. But like that, you can head up to our NT1 stop. They are ready for y'all whenever you are. They're open right now. Other than that, y'all be safe on the way home and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. So that was. So everybody will be general at some point, at least by the end of the first year, you'll have to.
I know. Oh, 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 Xanthic! Oh, 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 Xanthic! <laughs> Did you write that note? Yeah, I'm gonna take it off now, but she gave me a parking pass. Thank you for the food. Yeah, I'm I bet I could. Where are we? I don't know. Where you have to let us, yeah, you have to do it. You have to manually unlock everything. I didn't do it like to, Just let me in and I'll let everybody in. I'll let Ryan in. I tried really hard, Ryan. Actually, let's just leave Ryan here. <laughs> let's just leave him here. I've been banished. <laughs> I've been banished.